Hey, hey, I got a brand new dog. It's a pure bread. Y'all get it? Hey, hey, here's a creative idea from a gun company. They said, we're going to sell toilet paper. Everybody wants to buy a toilet paper on our toilet paper. We're going to put a picture of a rifle. And we're going to sell the toilet paper for $900 for one roll. 900 bucks. But we're going to give you a free rifle as a bonus. If you buy two rolls of toilet paper for $1,700, we'll give you two free rifles. Creative as can be a darn good idea. Looters, I want to write you all a letter. Dear looters, this comes from your wiser advisor, all your criminals. The guys that if you're not a real criminal yet, you're thinking about becoming one because, hey, there's a mess going on with the virus. I'm going to go to people's homes and boom, 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 and attack them. You got to kind of think about this. You've got millions and millions of men and women. They're laid off or they can't work. They're at home and they're watching their kids make videos and watch Netflix and they're crabby. Everybody's getting mad. Hey, I tell you what, tempers are really on fire. So if you go into their house, it will be a boom to boom boom, all right? But it'll be them shooting you. I would suggest that you kind of take some time off now would be a good time to do that. Maybe go get a real job. Oh, there's no real job. Stay at home. Write radio. Write radio. It's a live chat show. Go to www.writeedition.com and you'll see it. It's right on the home page and it'll kind of drive you boom and press this button and that button and you'll be there. And at noon every weekday for our West Coast time, we start the show. It'll be a really, really good show. So that's all in there for you. So listen, it gives you a chance to interact and we'd look forward to talking to you. Next in line, I got government. Government, they say this to me. You owe us money. It's called taxes. Me, how much do I owe? Government, you got to figure that out. Me, I just pay what I want. Government, oh no, no, no. We know exactly how much you owe, but you have to guess that number too. <laughs> me, what if I get it wrong? Government will penalize you, might even put you in jail. We're certainly going to charge you a whole bunch of money. You know what? <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, if you know the number, send it to me. Okay, next in line, we got Canada. Canada has this uh, gun law business going on. If you have a gun in your house, I'm kind of going back to this looter thing now. If you have a gun in your house, you have to have the ammunition far away in a different lock case. If you have to have a trigger lock on your handgun and so on. So when somebody breaks into your home to do you harm, you have to say, whoa, 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 please give me 10 minutes and I'll assemble everything here and then I'll shoot you. I'm sure the guy's going to stand there and wait, right? So there's this group doing a chat line thing. They're saying to Canadians, let's get in touch with our government the prime mistakes government, the liberal wacko government, and get them to waive the storage rules, the storage laws, so we can defend ourselves because people might come looking for the food that we got and blah, blah. Hey, you know, that's a waste of your time. Number one, the government doesn't care about you because you're a gun guy. And number two, even though you're a legal gun guy, they already break the rules. It's kind of like that uh, Martin Luther King, he said, a bad law should not be obeyed, and he changed the world because of it. And so many Canadians, the Canadians already have a gun in their house. The guys that legally own a gun is already loaded. Or if it isn't loaded, they know where the shells are because you want to be tried by 12 or carried by 6, right? I mean, the government can do all the little rule stuff that they want. I mean, people are still going to be people. They're still going to be in control of their own world. And so I kind of think it's silly to go ask the government to bend a rule that is such a stupid rule anyway. There, you got all that? I mean, write that down. Y'all come back. See ya.